Today we're going to look at understanding the mail merge feature with RAD Rich Textbox. RAD Rich Textbox is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. So you can use mail merge when you want to create a set of documents, such as a form letter that is sent to many customers. So each document has the same kind of information, yet some of the content is unique. For example, in the letters to your customers, you can personalize each letter to address each customer by name. In this video, we're actually going to look at this feature a little bit more in depth with the Rad Rich text box. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010, and we're simply going to go File, New Project. I'm going to select Silverlight, and then Rad Control Silverlight Application. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a name, RRTB Mail Merge. Then I'm going to go ahead and press OK. The next options that I have here is to actually host the application in a new website. We're going to do that and we're also going to take Silverlight 5 for the version. After we press OK, we see we have a couple of options here of which components do we want to pick. Well, we're going to be working with the Rad Rich text box, so I'm actually just going to place a check right here in Telerik.Windows.Controls.RadRich text box UI. You'll notice that it automatically checked the other necessary components for us. Then finally I'm just going to go ahead and hit finish. So now that our project is finished spinning up, you'll notice that it went ahead and it added several controls automatically for us. So we'll just go ahead and we'll close out of references and if we come back to our user control we can see that it went ahead and added the XML namespace Telerik for us. So what we're going to do is drag a rad rich text box from the toolbox onto our designer window and walk through the wizard to automatically add a ribbon bar that contains the features for our mail merge. So let's go to our toolbox here and down at the very bottom we have rad rich text box. I want to simply drag and drop that onto our designer and the first thing you see here is the rad rich text box wizard. Now in video two of this series I talk about this a little bit more in depth but for this video we're just going to select word processor we're going to select next we're going to leave the default page layout as paged MS Word like font and then I know that the merged fields are only persisted only in XAML and DOCX so I can actually get rid of a couple of these different format providers since they're not going to be needed in this application then I can go ahead and press next so on the next screen here it's asking us what type of settings do we want to add I'm going to leave the home tab and I'm actually going to remove a couple of these other tabs but as we're navigating through these tabs we'll see down at the very bottom we have a mailings tab and so the mailings tab actually contains our mail merge functionality that we're going to tie into we're going to leave this tab here we're going to go ahead and remove the header and footers tab and of course if you wanted any of this functionality automatically added for you just leave the checkbox here so we're going to go ahead and hit next here and we're going to leave the rest of these settings alone and we're going to hit finish. Okay so now our application has finished spinning up and you'll notice here that we have our home tab and then we have the mailings tab and of course we could have added other tabs as well if we had a wanted to to our ribbon bar but if we click on mailings then you'll see a couple of fields now they may not show up in, as great right now but we'll look at those a little bit more in depth but those if you scroll down here you'll see our rad ribbon tab has a header called mailings and if you scroll down just a tad and you start moving over you'll notice that these are all tied to Telerik rad rich text box ribbon UI dot rich text command so the first one is tied to a binding path of toggle merge fields highlighted command so the reason that I'm showing you this and you can scroll down through the rest of these and see the other ones is that you're not really going to have to add any code in order to get this functionality in your application so let's go ahead and begin wiring up some data for our mail merge. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to my project. I'm going to go add and I'm going to go class and I'm just going to type in employee. So now that I have an employee class I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a first name, a last name, and then a job title. So now that I have an employee class I'm just going to go ahead and close that out and I'm going to add another class. So I'm going to go add class and this is actually going to be my examples data context. 
So I'm just going to type in examples, data, context. And if I come here, I'm just going to paste in a little bit of sample data. So I'm going to go ahead and fix a couple of these using statements here. And we'll see that we have a list, and then we have about four employees here. And then finally, it's just going to return that employee. I'm going to go ahead and save that file. And I'm going to navigate over to my main page.xaml.cs. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in a loaded event here. And under this loaded event, I'm going to simply add in a this dot rad rich text box one dot document dot mail merge data source dot item source and this is going to be equal to a new examples data context dot employees. So we added our data in through our employee class and then our examples data context contains the four different people and then we're actually adding it to the rad rich text box dot document dot mail merge data source dot item source. So now this item source contains our four different employees. So if we go ahead and we go back and we run our application now, it takes just a second to load, but you'll see that we have a fully featured Word uh, editor here. So under, we have our home tab and then we have our mailings. And under our mailings, we have several things added automatically for us, from the highlight mail merge fields, which we'll look at in a second, to the insert merge fields, which if we click this drop down here, you'll see we have the first name, the job title, and then the last name, which we added in just a second ago, to the show all field codes, to the field names, to previewing it, to where we can cycle through a couple of different items, to finishing up the mail merge, and then exporting the contents. So let's go ahead and let's paste in a sample letter. So this is just a sample letter that I just created for a sample of what a mail merge may look like. So we're going to go up here to the top and we may want to add in the job title first. So we just hit insert merge field and we select a job title. And then we're going to select maybe dear first name and then we'll give it a space here and then we'll add last name and we'll just go ahead and hit a comma. So from here we could go ahead and we could select highlight merge fields to see the fields that we already had. We can show all field codes which were already on and we can switch and toggle that to show all field names. We can go ahead and click on preview results. So this is previewing the first item which has the director of finance, dear Andrew Fuller. We can go to the next item and as you remember we had four items here. We can go back to the beginning. So now we're actually just going to click on mail merge where it says finish. Once we click on that I'm going to type in the word mail merge and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And this of course is in my temp directory. So if I drag my temp directory back over again and we double click on mail merge and we'll just go ahead and hit enable editing you will see that we now have our document created so again I would like to thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest